the quest to unite Singapura here on uh, the island of uh, Sumatra is going quite well, I'd say. We're about to wrap up this war here. We just need to peace out Palembang and then uh, attack our former allies over here. Let's send them a scornful insult because they, if they have mi less than minus 50, they will generally break royal marriage with you guys. Welcome back, everybody, to... Um, Oh my gosh, I'm getting so sick of these guys. They just won't attack me. I'll just wait on this fort, on this province here. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Expanded Family of Mods here as uh, Singapura. We were indeed Malacca before, and we are going to be forming Malaya. So I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign so far. If you have, please do make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. It does help me out a lot. Nope, I will uh, not. See, this is why I don't educate my heir. <laughs> just get these events. Like, would you like to go bankrupt? Would you like to take out multiple loans while you're in a in a war? Nope. I'm not educating my heir anymore. Not worth IMO. All right, let's have you guys come on over here. And uh, we have some war exhaustion, but it's not a big deal. Get over here and blockade these guys, especially on their capital. Oh, shoot. Just kidding. Get a couple more repair ticks. We're going to need that. Let's have these guys bring out over here. They could have actually just boat bombed me in there from Kendal or however that province is called. So they have an army of six, which is all of them right there. That's easy enough. I reckon we are going to consolidate these regiments. And that will allow us to have a bit of extra force limit to spare. We can get the free company here. Easy peasy. Now, the reason being is uh, we have a very large manpower deficit and... If we want to complete this mission here for the emirs to allow us to... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I failed it because we went to war, I think. Uh-oh. Stinky. I didn't even catch that. Now the merchants are mad at me. I just can't win. We can't win today, friends. It's all good. The unrest means nothing because we're going to have rebels in like every province anyway, so... Very good. Let's have uh, Tun Parak lead the free company here. Give him one more month of uh, repair tech here. Now what I want to do, bring you guys over here and have them land here. Oh, no, 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 no. Have them land here. That way, if these guys want to attack me, they will have to take a river crossing or a, a straight crossing rather and attack me over there, which would be dumb for them. Very dumb. And I'm not used, losing a single bit of manpower because these are all mercs. It's incredible. This is what you call a pro gamer move, friends. And then... I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are ready for this because this is about to get a little spicy here. I could probably just piece them out right now. Well, I probably could get on their capital, and since they're blockaded, well, they could be blockaded. But what I'm going to do here, we're going to come over here. I'm going to attack them. We will not take a straight crossing because we have better maneuver than them. So you can see, even even Stevens. Um, now, hopefully we win. Hopefully we win. Oh my gosh. There we go. And just like that, we stack wiped them. No more armies for you. You guys are dumb dums Now... Wait for the monthly tick here. These guys will be built up here on the 12th. Very good, very good. So as long as I'm there after the 12th of... Oh, wait a minute. Offensive Asian foot soldier will be done on August. Okay. And this one will be done on the 10th of August. So what we need to do here is just wait until the time is right. Be on here. Ooh. Be here after the 10th, and then we'll just loop around and wipe out these little one stacks. Why not? Screw them. If they want to use their manpower to build up an army, I might as well wipe it out. It's my prerogative, right? There you go. So we just took 4,000 manpower from them as well. So their allies are definitely feeling that they're probably weak. So these guys over here got annexed as well. We have rebels. Where? Oh my gosh. Peasants? That is a lot of peasants as well. Goodness gracious. On my capital. Feels bad, man. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, blockade their capital while we're standing on it. That will give them low enthusiasm. Uh, fleet disarmament would be really good. That's 50%. No, I can't afford that. And then we'll take as much money as they're willing to give me. And, uh, that is a full annex for you guys. You good bye. You suck. And, uh, I will accept this piece now. And now I will take this fleet or this, uh, stack here. And we're going to have to load up our men. Man, this is a big old rebel stack. I hate, you hate to see it happen. Put you guys on defensiveness so we can uh, get get our army stacked up here. These guys are going to need a little bit of time to recoup as well. 17,000, man. That's crazy. Luckily for us, our manpower is starting to tick up, which is great. 
We're going to end up having some more rebels where? Over here? Nope. I will not allow that to happen. Oh my gosh. That is so bad. <laughs> my war exhaustion is pretty dang bad. All right, I'm going to boost that up. War exhaustion. Hmm. We're going to need to start deving. So let's let's uh, do some deving rather than using our um, stuff for war exhaustion or diplo. We'll just let it tick down. We'll fight the rebels. It's fine. All right, let's get those guys off my capital. They don't have a general and they're peasants. Peasants have lower morale than regular guys. All right. Now suppress rebels. Of course. Very important. Now, those guys might pop. It's hard to say, man. As we finish up our cores, war exhaustion will go down. Separatism was going to go down on the yearly tick as well. Uh, it, it might not happen. We'll see. The chance of it happening goes down every month, so that's good. Money for legitimacy and the trading fair goes up. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to just get rid of that. I'm not going to be converting anything. This is fine. Uh, the years of separatism is nice to have, honestly. Um... So rather than taking tech, what we're going to do is we are going to switch this guy over to development. Now, sadly, my merchants are not going to be happy with me for quite a while, and there's nothing I can really do about it to make them happy. So we should probably wait. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let my mana stack up here. Now, when can I click this button again? Next year, I'm going to hopefully get one for the burgers. Yep, and we're going to just take these. Th these three idea groups, this first one, that will give us another 10% tech cost, which if you do not know, tech cost is... um. Oh my gosh. Admin deficit feels bad, man. These guys are allied to Palambang, who I just beat up on. They would join. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Um, well, I suppose there's no time like the present. Let's have these guys brought over here again. Let's have these guys brought over here again to go land on Palambang's capital. Oh. These guys are in another war, actually. So what we can do here, this is called a pro gamer move. All right. We are going to sit here and we are not going to declare war until Palambang has uh, their capital occupied or, you know, are not doing well in the war. And then they will be, they will not, they will dishonor the call. Oh, they allied Brunei. What are you talking about, man? They're in a war right now. They're in war. Brunei, what are you doing that for, homie? Because Pasai's got a... Oh, no, they don't have a big fleet. Generally, Pasai's a pretty big naval power. Yikes, bro. Hmm. That is very unfortunate. All right. Well, looks like we're going to need a couple more galleys. Let's go with five more. Going over the naval limit is not a big deal when you have uh, income. We, we have good income as well. I will core this up. We're going to need to do that. Uh, Malacca gets some bonuses. Or we get a level two half-off national and or prestige guy, huh? Nah. Well, level two, we, yeah, actually we need the mana. So let's go with it. Average Monarch lifespan. That's good. Accord Physician. Very good. Well done, Lim. Guys, if you haven't checked out the new mod for the Expanded Family of Mods, this is Advisor Types Expanded. It's very well made. I am a fan. So this guy is half off right here. The early prestige is nice, I suppose. Mostly I want the extra mana. We're, we're making 11 mana a month, which is good. We have our boy in here now. Our boy -o. What'd you get? Come on, give me something good. Lawgiver, that's fine, actually. That's uh, that's totally fine. Take a look at this autonomy. So yeah, we're gonna need that autonomy to go down quite a bit. And it will be going down quite a bit, especially while we're at peace. So there's no rush for war. But what I will do, oh my gosh, because we actually have land over here as well. That's problematic, bro. Hmm. Yeah, that is problematic. What we're gonna do here, is a save up our mana. We'll fall behind a little bit on tech if it means I can. Um, let's go. Can I do the burgers? No, I cannot. All right. Well, let's do the, these guys then. Get a little bit of manpower. Now, it does fail if we go to war. So it looks like we're just going to chill for a bit then. These guys are going to pop. Matari. Okay. All right. So let's bring the Navy and use those guys to come over there. We have a adopt the title of Khalifa. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. I like those things. More legalism is always good. Now, the reason why... Oh, my general died. That is sad. So that'll actually help. That'll probably even prevent the uh, rebels from firing once we get the army over there. Because then they'll get the... Um, eh, maybe. We'll see. The friendly troops modifier, which affects uh, unrest. 
Yep, just like that. And as our war exhaustion ticks down a little bit more, it'll be we'll be good. So no big deal. Let's estate you up. Let's continue finish those cores. I will full core the rest of this stuff when we have admin. For right now, I'm just rushing through the scientific revolution. And let's see here. These guys are going to be loyal. Damn, bro. Yeah. It's going to take some time. So we might as well do a little bit of development in the meantime. Just a bit. Enough to bring it down a few. We need we need to dev up the renaissance here. So between devving up the renaissance, which is right now costing us, what, 30%. Uh, so we'll fall behind a little bit. But what we'll do is we'll spawn the renaissance. We'll be the only one around here with it. We might be able to actually get Ming to buy it from us, which would be good. And then after that, we'll be able to um, get this uh, scientific revolution. And we'll be just start stacking up our modifiers here, which will be really good. We are losing our innovativeness, but you can't expect that much innovativeness when you're playing outside of Europe. It's just hard to stack it up. Oh, man. That is so bad. Pending events? I do not have pending events. Hello. I want to throw the baby off the balcony. I do not have a pending event game, please. Okay. Seems to be a little bit of a bug here. This is fine though. The longer we're at peace, it's not hurting us. Yes, this is fine. And now we're, we're just waiting because until these guys get up to 60% uh, loyalty, we will not have any, uh, any bonuses to our, whatchamacallit, um, our uh, deving cost, which is the main reason we want it. So those guys are gone. Very good. Okay. Let's pull you guys over here because the, this these provinces over here are where those guys are going to fire. Truce with Kutai is over. I don't care. Yeah, just waiting on this. So it's going up by 0.3 a month. And so that means it'll take us a couple of years, but getting it up to 60 is going to be super worth it. It's going to save us a lot of dev, a lot of clicks. Um, encourage development. Do I not have, I do. The tropical city planning, huh? Now I have that, right? Yep, we do. Okay, so the local dev cost goes down for that. That's good. Um, damn, bro. Okay, well, I guess we'll lose a couple of months of admin mana. That's a lot of government reform progress there. We'll see here. Um, I'll take the stability. I'm, I'm an absolute sucker for stability. Let's suppress those rebels here. And that will prevent those guys essentially from firing at all. Uh, where are those mercs at, huh? Let's have you guys brought over here as well, yeah? So that way they can apply that as well a little bit. And then I'd like to even possibly... Well, we don't need this fort up here, so we'll turn that off for now. Let's put you guys on local trade power. Because I'm not doing any deving until we get our burgers here. And they went down a bit. Oh, man. Was I not paying attention to an event? Feels bad. That is unfortunate. Lose the stability or get stab cost modifiers. That's totally fine. I don't care. For what? 15 years? Eh, it's fine. Yep. And we just, once we get our manpower up, we'll probably be pretty close to being able to click this again. 75? Dang, man. So what do we get from that? A level 3 mill guy or a level 2 mill guy? Half off? Okay. Fort defense. That's solid. We'll fail if we go to war. So we don't want to go to war. All is well. Yep. And we're just holding off. I mean, what's the point of paying it? That's 180 extra mana for being behind. What's the point? Don't pay it. Use it to develop the uh, institution instead. It's fine. Now, if I wanted to wait for um, that, that'd be fine as well. But we not can't do it. Okay. I'm going to restart the game and see if I'm allowed to uh, disinherit my heir. Because it says I have a pending event and it, I do not. So one second, guys. And after a quick restart, I can throw my baby off the balcony. No harm, no foul, friends. Welcome back. <laughs> So we're going to keep on pushing through this with the intention of getting these, this idea group right here. 
and uh this this idea here and then institution embracement cost is fine i guess but it's the tech cost that is 60 tech so and i guess i haven't really explained well up to this point why i want it scientific revolution gives 10 percent tech discount what that means is 10 percent off of every tech for the rest of the game so that's why innovativeness early especially first idea group is really solid so here you go 60 60 60 that's 180 per tech per tech so that means this guy entirely pays for itself up to this point. This is what, 1,200, uh, 900 mana, I believe it is. No, 1,200 mana to get up to here. So that means this guy pays itself off after what? I, I can't do quick math, but it'll pay itself off. And then that doesn't even consider the fact that you're saving a ton of other mana, which means then you have mana to dev. So a lot of people, there's always the argument of economic economic ideas for dev costs versus innovative for, for dev costs or uh, for mana, which saves you dev in the long term. And I think that they're both a pretty good um, argument to be had there. The core creation cost is nice as well. I actually did not know we had that. So let's suppress rebels here. And now I got Palembang separatists as well, but I don't think we need to worry about them. Yep, these guys are not going to fire, which is great. Khmer is no longer a valid rival. Feels bad, man. Let's rival our ally over here and tell them that they suck and that we hate them. Uh, we have a truce with them. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, you guys are losing to rebels, and that is why you are no longer a valid rival. No other reason, not a, not one that's visible at least. So this province here, we're just gonna hang back. We're, we're planning to finish up this. But what I need to do here is make sure that these guys are over 50. So we're pretty close, at least I think we are. 75% of roughly 30. What is that? I'm not good at math, man, I'm not. I could con uh, I could convert a couple of provinces. Whatever. If it gives a little bit of unrest in those provinces, it's not a big deal, but it'll also help with the unrest, so in the long term. Plus, it's like, you know, who doesn't want to have a nice religious map mode? This guy's also converting provinces, so where's it at right now? Sadly, it's converting. Well, where where is it converting? I don't know. Oh, right here. See? Don't even have to convert it. Doing it for me. Feels good, man. Uh, Hong, Hang Tua. Go ahead and stop and read if you like. May our people never vanish from this earth. Invitation from Brunei. Very good. My uh, new rival wants to invite me. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Prestige Decay. So this is Ages and Splendor Expanded. I suppose we'll go to Feudal de Jour Law, because that will actually allow me to do that there. Which will handle basically any of the rebels we would have had over here. Very good. Let's also put it in Palembang as well. It does cost money, but at the end of the day, if it saves me from having to uh, use my armies to suppress rebels, I'm okay with it. These guys are likely to not fire. I'm going to turn my maintenance down just a little bit. Let's build up a couple of buildings. Right, I do not have that tech unlocked. So let's get a couple of you guys. And uh, actually, rather than you, let's build you there and then here. And then do we have one here already? We do. Very good. And I think that's it. Could do some coastal uh, defenses, but eh, I just wait and just go straight into the batteries. You can do roads. Roads are always a good choice. So let's take a look at um, right here. Oh, man. The fa as long as these guys are a, a um, tributary of Ming, I I'm not going to be able to do it. So I'm just ignoring this mission for the time being. Uh, 14, this one here. Won a war against Brunei, at least one province in the Brunei area. So I have to beat them in a war. I wonder. I might. So here's the question. When it says has won a war, does it mean has won a war with them being the war leader? Because I kind of assume it does, but I don't know. I'm not going to take a 2-4-2. Two, two. That is just as bad, in my opinion. We're just waiting on these guys. We're waiting on this to finish. Should be done soon to allow me to get another estate privilege here. Come on now. Let's go with... Dun, 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 dun. Siege ability is nice. Uh, land force limit. These guys are all full price, so I guess we'll just go with the national manpower guy. It does raise your max, but it also raises how much you gain, because the amount you gain is based on your max, so as far as I know, it should be the same amount. 100 admin mana. Absolutely. 
I always just accept, expect to get it because I, I think I can count on my hands the number of times I've gotten that event and I've actually gotten the extra mana, uh, monthly mana gen. And to be honest with you, I'm fine with just getting the the stock, the like the number straight up because, uh, you know, the AI tends to, or you you tend to not get get what you're looking for. Um, the AI, my leaders tend to die very young, so I'd rather just have a little bit of extra. Um, a, a lump sum, I should say. And with all this dev development, we're also going to be helping ourselves out economically as well. So there, there's literally no downside to this. Once we been, um, take admin tech, the next one. See, now we will. We're going to rush through admin tech. Um, did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? He was 20 years old. I'm okay with it. We're, it takes a huge legitimacy hit, but a 4.65 four, is really good. 465 is really good. And we are the same Patani. Isn't there a... Um, I don't know. I'll take the mana. It's fine. Just hire a new guy. Who cares? Not me. Welcome them all. And uh, I need the merchant guilds to be happy. Flora C. More trade power. Well, that's not going to be super reasonable. I don't know if I can do that. Palambang has to like me or do some base tax development in Perak. I can do that. It's fine. Put you guys on dev. Yikes. Okay. That's a little expensive, but that's okay. So this one will give me 25 mil mana for everything we have given to the Amirs, which is three. I could do a third. Let's see here. Uh, Dipple annex cost. Nah. Nah. Not going to do it. Mill advisor cost at the cost of stab cost. That's fine with me. And that will give me an extra 25. So we should get 100 mil mana, which is good because we can use that to dev. As long as we have 90 legitimacy, uh, we will get leader of upkeep. Well, we don't have that, but we'll be able to get it eventually here. So let's buy that a couple of times here. We have another mission. All these developments we're doing. Hey, free stability literally right after my leader dies. And uh, provinces get Golden Peninsula, the highlighted area, huh? So these guys all get goods produced, tax modifier, and local prosperity for the rest of the game. That's um, that's kind of nuts, actually. Let's see here. Johor is actually going to be getting pretty good prosperity growth then, if that's the case. Um, six innovativeness, really? Now we didn't get it anyways. Doesn't matter. Always go with the legalism. I'm fine with a four six five. That actually should give us the uh, center for scholarly learning, at not? Perhaps not. Which one is it for that? Uh, where is it at here? Maybe not. Maybe I can't even see it. Either way, no big deal. Pirates are raiding me. Okay. They can definitely reach me here. So I have rebels. With no general. I'm going to head in with very low morale. There's nothing I can really do about that. I need to defend that let's get like three galleys over here protecting trade or protecting against pirates in malacca so those boys do not uh yikes okay that was my bad i wasn't paying attention to my rebels there i have a disloyal subject now because reasons i should probably just improve relations with them let's see here they don't want to royal marry me no they're already royal married Okay, so I guess I do one dev click here. And then I start the process of integrating them, yeah? Yep, I think we can. We can afford it, so it's fine. And, um... These guys are 53, so it'll be a few more years until they're loyal again. This province needs two admin dev, unfortunately. There we go. Put you guys on uh, back. Turn that back off here in a moment. And now I need to click this button. No, I still can't get these freaking merchants, but it brings them a little bit closer. No big deal. Um, or follow Christian, Muslim, or Jewish faith. What is this? Thalang? Uh, well, these guys are allied to somebody I don't care about. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. You guys have rebels, huh? So then I just need to wait a couple more months here. 
for these guys to be over 60 and we'll get that extra 10 percent dev cost and then we're just going to crush out the rest of the development needed to spawn the renaissance here then it should spread into malacca and our capital very quickly and we'll be able to um be able to uh, click the button for that yeah it's been a minute so the rebels are coming back rebel rebel and all that it is what it is but uh not the most like chaotic episode yet but uh boys if you guys are excited for a little bit of renaissance here in uh, malacca in uh singapore i mean there you go extra 10 percent take a look you guys thought i wasn't gonna thought i wasn't gonna do it this episode huh so let's click that button here wait there right here it's expensive if you're gonna be spending mil uh spending men on this then you know you might as well do it do it big we're gonna let it spread into this provinces here because it's gonna go pretty quickly Mm, actually, maybe not. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to embrace this institution, which will allow me to take that tech right now already. And uh, let's see here. How much are my tech costs here? Innovativeness gain. Very good. So my techs cost us 470. Base is 600, just so you know. So just like that, we're caught up. Well, mostly caught up. These guys over here are on 776, but we're on 566. And we'll, we'll catch up very quickly, guys. If you're enjoying the campaign, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. If you have not already, subscribed and ding the bell. You can do that. And uh, don't forget to join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. Those things are all linked in the description below. Next episode, we are going to attack Pasai slash Brunei. And uh, hopefully destroy these guys' navy. And we may land some men over there. And uh, start making some moves towards the mess of our mission tree. So we can form Malaya. But uh, yes, if you guys want to support me, my Patreon is linked in the description below. It's the only reason I'm able to do what I do for you guys, making these videos full time. So uh, if you like what I do, support me on Patreon, guys. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.